Hello everyone, I'm Alex Dykes. This is a 2015 Volvo S60 T6 Drive-E. Yes, it is a 2015 model year. It is a very early 2015. And this is a Grocco Classic Ride 50 child seat. And we're gonna see how well three of these fit across the back of the Volvo S60 T6. We're also gonna check how well they fit with rearward facing, forward facing installations, how well a person fits with two of these in the back of the car. We're gonna see how well they fit in the trunk. And we're gonna do just about everything we can think of to see how well child seats interact with a brand that's really been associated with safety as well as child safety for a very, very long time. Before we go any further, let me just say I'm far from an expert when it comes to installing child seats in cars, but there are experts out there available. You can go ahead and find uh, information in the description section of this video on how to find a certified child seat installer or a certified child seat inspector in your state or local area. Go ahead and find one if you have any questions about how to install a child seat safely in a car, especially if you have a new car or you're just unsure if you're new to this, if you're a grandparent and you haven't used a recent child seat, then go ahead and click those links. There's no shame in asking for help because you want to be sure that your kids are as safe as possible. I haven't strapped in this child seat yet for one important reason. The S60 is not a terribly large car, so keep that in mind. It's not as long as the BMW 3 Series. The BMW 3 Series grew absolutely huge in its last generation, has an awful lot of rear seat legroom, and that translates to rearward facing child seats fitting a little bit better in the car. This front seat is all the way back in its track. It's not terribly reclined either, but as you can see, this rear seat child seat right here is touching the headrest of this front seat. Well, this arrangement with a front seat touching a rearward facing child seat like this is a problem in any car. It's made especially a problem in the Volvo because of these whiplash prevention seats that Volvo uses, the whips system as they call it. And the whips system is more than just an active headrest like you'll find in other cars. It's actually an entire articulating seat. Now, I personally have benefited from Volvo's whips system in a car that I owned and I got rear-ended by a guy going about 45 miles an hour, absolutely totaled his car. I did not have whiplash at all, but it's all because of the way these seats interact with the body and with the car, and it's why you have a problem putting a rearward-facing child seat in the car with the seat touching the seat. That's because this rear seat, that's because this front seat can actually move up to about three inches or so backwards in a reclining fashion in an accident. It does that to reduce the forces on your neck as well as your back by allowing this seat to basically give and bend backwards. It's designed to do that. However, you can see that that would be a problem if we had a child seat and the child seat was fixed right here because this child seat would also be forced in kind of a strange motion and that's not how child seats should interact with a child and the car in an accident. So you want to be sure, especially in a Volvo model, that this front seat is about two to three inches away from a rearward facing child seat. If I move this over to the driver's side, this front seat was adjusted for me at six feet tall in a comfortable position. As you can see, it is still a little bit close to this child seat. This child seat is not strapped in yet, but even if I did strap it in, we'd only have about an inch and a half of room right there, which means I would have to sit a little bit closer to the steering wheel than I normally would in this car with a child seat behind me. Again, this is not a knock on the S60, but the BMW 3 Series will be a little bit more accommodating with rearward facing child seats like this, simply because the BMW 3 Series has a bigger back seat and the S60 is a smaller car. The Cadillac ATS is just about as tight in the back and Mercedes-Benz C-Class doesn't really have that much more room either. I now have two child seats in the back of the S60. Like most vehicles in this size class, that would be the small luxury class, including something like a Lexus IS, BMW 3 Series, Mercedes-Benz C-Class, Infiniti Q50, it's not gonna be very wide back here. That is an important thing to keep in mind, especially with these European and the Japanese competitors and that Cadillac ATS, which is really trying very hard to be a last generation BMW 3 Series. It's not a terribly wide car. Even though the BMW 3 Series has more leg room, it's not that much wider across than the S60. The result of that is it's gonna be a little bit tighter across the back here for three child seats, which we're gonna test in just a moment, or for two child seats and one adult. So I find myself frequently in this situation with friends that have two kids. It is possible for one adult to sit back here with two child seats. It's also relatively comfortable as far as things go. I can sit more or less right in this seat. However, because again, this car isn't as big as some of those wider options, like a, the next size up, a Volvo S80, a BMW 5 Series, etc. It's not gonna be quite as comfortable across the back seat. This child seat is encroaching on this seat space. And this far child seat right here is pressed right up against the door. Do keep in mind that this car does have side curtain airbags like most vehicles in this category, so you do have to be careful that this child seat isn't actually touching 
anywhere that uh, the child seat would interact with the side curtain airbag in an accident. We do have a little bit of room over there, enough for that side curtain airbag to function properly on that side, but I wouldn't want to get any closer. This brings me neatly to the situation that strikes fear in the heart of mere mortals. That's the three across, as you can see right here. Again, because the S60 is not terribly wide, like most entries in this category, things are a little bit snug with these Grocco Classic Ride 50 child seats. You can see they are touching right here. They are very snug right here in the middle with one another. There is a little bit of room between the seat and the door. I can put my hand right there between the seat and the door, and I can place my hand right down here between the child seat and the armrest, although not quite as far in. So the seat is touching the armrest on the door, but it's not touching the side by the glass. In this situation, I'm a little bit less worried about the S60 versus other sedans where the child seats are very tight against the doors because there's a decent amount of room around this window portion and the child seat, some area there for the side curtain airbags to function properly. So I'm a little bit less concerned about this situation than something that's even smaller than an S60. However, if this situation describes you, then you may want to go out and look for narrower child seats. There are a few slimmer child seats out on the market that would make this situation fit just a little bit better. Before we dive into the trunk, let's talk about latch anchors. The S60, like most vehicles, have two sets of latch anchors for the outboard seats only. That means this middle seat will have to use the lap and shoulder belt to be attached to the car, although all three positions do have the top tether anchor. I've seen a number of people do this, but please do not use the outboard latch anchors for this middle child seat. They're not rated for that, so if you do get into an accident, there's always a possibility that they could accidentally detach in the vehicle. They're really only designed for the loads of one child seat and one child in the car. So if you have three across and these three seats are trying to share these two outboard seat uh, tether anchors, then that's really not an ideal situation. You should always use the lap and shoulder belt if a latch anchor is not provided in the car, especially in this middle position. Just go ahead and avoid that. Use the lap and shoulder belt. It may be a little bit trickier. You may not think it'll hold the seat quite as firmly as a latch anchor can. However, it's much better than trying to share those outboard latch anchors. Again, for advice and inspections to make sure that you've done it right, just go ahead and follow those instructions down there in the description on the video where you can find a certified child seat inspector in your local area, and they can, of course, verify your installation is all up to scratch. Volvo has long been known as a very practical company when it comes to cargo hauling. That's really obvious in the S60. Not just because the trunk is fairly generous for a car of this size, but also we have some convenient features that are very handy, like a shopping bag holder, this little elasticized band right here to help you hold cargo in this trunk divider. It makes carrying things a lot easier in your S60. We also have hinges that, while they are these bar variety that do occupy a decent amount of trunk space, I would have preferred some true hidden hinges on the side. They are nicely covered so that way they don't interact with your cargo. So if you can fit it in the trunk, the trunk lid will close. Brings us neatly to these child seats. Even though the trunk lid on the S60 is not very long, you can see really how short it is. This trunk deck lid is very, very short, kind of stubby in the S60. But the opening is very large. It's quite tall, so it is fairly easy to get these child seats in the car. <clears throat> and because of the shape of the trunk, it's fairly deep and fairly consistent in the way that the sizing goes back. So we have one child seat. We have number two right here. And we can very easily put child seat number three right there in the car. We still have a little bit of room left over in the trunk. In fact, we have enough room left over that if I turn these child seats just slightly, I can put this, which is the largest roller bag you can carry on a domestic flight, I can squeeze that right in there in the trunk along with the three child seats. There is still a little bit of room left right over there as well. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Again, I'm Alex Dykes, and this has been the 2015 Volvo S60 T6 Front Wheel Drive. Go ahead and click that subscribe banner over there on the bottom of your screen, and you can be updated on all of our latest videos. If this is later in the week, you can click this banner right here at the bottom of the screen over here to watch the full review on the S60 T6 when it's available. It will be about a day or two behind this video. Go ahead and like this video, comment on the video, tell me what you liked and what you didn't like about it. Also, leave me any suggestions you have on future videos that we can shoot, future segments, any ideas you have along those lines. I always take those into consideration. I always try and answer comments that have questions in them. You can also find me at facebook.com slash alexonautos, and I'll see you next week.